A one pitch, a nice one, fooled him with the slider. No balls, two strikes. So once again, DR seeking that 100 career strikeout. He struck out 54 batters last year. 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Here's number 100. Write that down. Big out, two down, full count. See if he can make it good right here. Ball's hit into right center field. Back goes, Dalton McBride is bouncing into the gap and all the way to the fence. That scores one Raider. Here comes another one around third base. The throw is nowhere near the plate, over near the second base bag. A two-run score on the big 3-2 hit right there by Lane Foster going backside and driving that ball into the gap in right center field. Here's a stretch by Meadows. Here's a pitch. And he went around, the ball got away. Cole Graham throws it down to first to end the inning. DR's second strikeout, but a couple of base hits, a Bulldog error, and two unearned runs. Put Bacon County up two zip as we take a break on Y101. Probably in the lower 80s. DR slaps the pitch left side and threw for a base hit. So Meadows with his 15th hit of his senior season. He's hit a home run, two doubles. Here's a stretch, he's coming to the plate. McBride bunts it back to Nipper, one play. He'll toss it to first for the out. Meadows down to second. And they throw that way. He's playing first the other day. You get the pitcher from Tuesday, Tyler Altman at first base today. With Peyton Nobles playing short. Runner at first going, and the ball's looped into center field. And in comes Dial, it drops in for a base hit. Throw comes to third base and Lukey slides in safely. And Graham is off the first base bag because nobody is covering it. And now he goes back to the bag. Cole Graham comes through with a two-out hit. That's three runs batted in in two games for the sophomore. That makes it 2-1 Bacon. Game was played here. 2-2 is hit right down the left field line. A base hit rolling into the corner. Runner coming to third. Brandon Hilton picks up the ball. He's going to score. Lane Adams, a cutoff man with the ball, and that's going to be a double for Anderson on a two-strike pitch. And he drives in a run, and that run is going to be unearned. So Bacon County has scored three unearned runs. They are looking in, gets the sign, checks the runner at second, deals his 0-2 pitch. Grounder to Kyle Knight, scoops it up. Where is he going? Going to second. Lane Adams gets the out. And no throw to first base. So the Dogs did not turn the double play, but they get the middle guy. And now their runner's on first and third, and two down. So Meadows try to keep it 3-1. Deals a 1-2 pitch. Hit over to the shortstop Lane Adams and he'll toss it to second for an easy out at that bag to end that threat right there. But the Raiders score another run on a Bulldog error. Dalton Anderson drove in the run with an RBI double. It's 3-1 Bacon leading as we take a break on Y101. 2-2. Popped up in the air. Into very shallow right field. Back goes Noah Anderson under the grass and he makes a catch. So there's one out. Anderson stepping back in. Meadows winding. 2-2 pitch. Hit on the ground and through the left side of the infield for a base hit. That scores one. Here comes another one. Here's a throw by Brandon Helton. It's cut off. The ball is trickling. It got away from the cutoff man Harrison. Two runs score anyway. And Anderson in the eight hole in the lineup has already driven in three runs. And two plate appearances. And Bacon County leads 5-1. And once again, the Dogs make mistakes. And the Raiders jump on them. Here's a stretch by D.R. Meadows. Here's a pitch. Hit to the second baseman. Noah Anderson plays a tough hop. Throws it to Lane Adams for one out. And they get another one on a double play on a throw that was low to Kyle Knight. So the Dogs get the double play ball. One batter too late. They yield two unearned runs, and they now trail 5-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the third inning and take a break on Y101. DR hits it to the shortstop, Nobles. He goes to the backhand, bobbles it a little, then throws to first base offline, and DR is safe. Lane with 16 hits, including four doubles. Nine RBIs, nine runs scored, 13 walks, four strikeouts, 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit right side and through for a base hit. McBride at second, stopping there. So Lane is one for two. 
to drive in some more right here with the bases loaded and one down. Hitting fifth today in the lineup. One point in time, he's hitting second. Swings and hits it up high in the air to right field. Foster grabs it. McBride tags. He's going to score. The ball's cut off. And the Bulldogs will move Lane Adams to third and have runners on the corners as Graham is driven in. Another run, and that is his sixth of the season and four in two ball games in two days. Lots of runners on base. Here's the pitch. Hit up high into the air into left field. Helton going back. He's got the ball, catches it, runner at second, tagging, coming to third, and the throw is cut off. So runners on the corners and one down. And DR comes inside and misses to make it two balls and no strikes. And one thing we're dealing with today, of course, is the pitch count. DR has had to throw a lot of pitches because of all the extra base runners. So there's no way at this pace he could ever come close to pitching seven. Ball's hit up high into the air. Third base side, Dalton Lynn gives way to Lane Adams and he makes a basket catch there with one hand. So it looked like Dalton was gonna take care of it, but at the last moment, Lane came over and the shortstop grabbed it. At least somebody caught it. And now you got two down and a chance to get out of this little mess. 5-3, Bacon leading top of the fourth. Runners on first and third. Stretch by DR, runner at first going. Now what are they gonna do? DR with the ball, throws to second. They got him in the run down. Runner at third is breaking. Here he comes to the dish. The dogs get the out before the run scores. On the tag out by Kyle Knight. Tricky situation right there. When you get in that run down, if you're the base runner, you're supposed to stay in it long enough so that your guy can score before the out is recorded. That did not happen and the dogs get out of it. And for the first time in the ball game, Bacon County does not score. 5-3, going to the bottom of the fourth inning as we take a break on Y101. 2-2 pitch. Bryce hits it up high in the air, first base side. Klein Nipper in foul territory. Nobody's going to catch that ball and it drops in fair territory. Nipper was in foul territory. He's the pitcher. Altman, the first baseman, probably should have taken charge of that play. And that ball drops for a base hit. If nobody got near it. Noah swings and chops it left side. It's bouncing to the shortstop Nobles. He throws across a diamond and late. That'll be an infield hit. Runners on first and third. Dalton coming off a rating. one for two game Dalton. against Apple. Right. Also recently had a one for four game at Scriven and a one for three against Benedictine, in which he drove in a run. He's swinging the stick a lot better. Pitch is low. I'm waiting for some of these guys to really turn it around and I'm talking about Dalton McBride, Brock Harrison, and Brandon Helton, of course, is starting to hit. And then you get a lot of guys in the lineup hitting and you can start scoring more runs and take the pressure off the pitching and the defense. 1-0 pitch. Curveball's hit right side for a base hit. That'll score one and they toss it in and it's rolling all the way past home plate and that means McBride is gonna take second base on an error. The runner from third not able to score. The ball was hanging around the home plate area. So McBride with a big hit right there makes it a one-run game at 5-4. Here's a stretch by D.R. Meadows, 0-2 pitch. Called strike three, got him. Hits his ball into the air to left field. Brandon Helton dies for it, and he caught it cleanly. Great catch. So no balls, two strikes. Here's the DR Meadows pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. He's going to leave him at first and third in the top of the fifth inning. And now the Bulldogs will come to the plate still down, but only by one, 5-4 with the four, five, and six hitters coming to the plate. We'll take a break. You're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. So Lukey steps in. 14 base hits on the season, including a home run and four doubles. And he swings and loops this one right side for a base hit. Backside swing, kind of inside out by George Lukey. So he now has 15 hits. He's one for two in the game. South Carolina and Baylor at 729. Ball's popped up in the air behind the third base bag. Who wants this ball? Lane Adams, a shortstop, catches it in fair territory. Route number one. 
Full count. Hit left side. Nice play by the third baseman, Harrison. Throws to second. Got the out. Relay to first base is late. And the ball gets away, but no problem there. Nice turn there to get that runner at second and almost get the double play. Here's Tyler Altman. 0 for 3 on a strikeout. Reached on an error. And he pops this ball up. Center of the diamond. And D.R. Meadows will catch that one. And that's it. So the Bulldogs are still down by one going to the bottom half of the sixth inning as we take a break on Bulldog Baseball on Y101. And the fifth inning. I mentioned Jeremy Beasley earlier. He's pitched seven and a third for Clemson. Cross hit into left field, and it's in for a base hit and bouncing all the way to the fence. And that means extra bases for Foster in his second double and his third hit, and he's three for four. 1-0 pitch, hit into left field, that's a base hit. Bouncing in front of Brandon Helton, runner coming around third, he's coming to the dish. Here's the throw to the dish and late. And a run scores, and the Raiders have a two-run lead in the top of the seventh inning at 6-4. As Noble gets his first hit today. Hot games, 117 17-2, 12-2, and 11-1. The Grange is on a roll, by the way. Ball's hit into the air to left field, Helton coming in, he's got it. Throws back towards second base. So one out with runners on first and second. Lane's winding with one down to the bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Hit up high in the air, deep to left field. This ball is going. This ball is gone. That is a grand slam. And that puts Bacon County into double digits. The 5-4 game is now 10-4, and here comes Dial around third base, coming home. Stepping on the plate. Bulldogs hit a three-run homer on Tuesday. George Lukey nailed that one. Dial crushes that ball. Grand slam. Bases loaded. Two down, the dogs are down 10-4. Stretched by the lefty Turner. One-two pitch, and it almost hit him. Two balls, two strikes. Brandon Helton is due up next. If Harrison can somehow make something magical happen right here. And the two-two pitch. Swing and a missed strike three. And that's it for the Toombs County Bulldogs in a home game against Bacon County. They leave the bases loaded and lose the ball game 10 to four. And we'll come back and wrap it up on Why Would I Want.